What's up everybody, GTA 4 Guru here, and I just want to say first before I tell you what's going to happen, uh, you probably know already by the title, um, I reached 100 subscribers yesterday, um, this was a real shock to me guys, I mean, I, I started YouTube thinking I'll put up a few videos, get a few views, get a few ratings, things like that, and I didn't think I would get 100 subscribers i mean i've been on i start. i made my account in 2008 in may or some shit like that like a long time ago and uh yeah it was a long time ago um but i didn't start making videos properly with commentary and videos like this until christmas when i got a computer because my old one broke but then i was just making platinum videos and stuff and the quality was a bit worse um but now i after christmas i started commentaries and stuff like that and uh my videos, I seem to get more views and more subscribers from there. I had about 60 at Christmas. Um, so I guess it's been five months, so not really very fast, but I'd, I'm just really happy, guys, you know? And I just, I can't thank you guys enough for subscribing to me. I mean, I know it's only 100, but to me, that's a lot. Like, to me, that, that for a kid who's just, like, got a capture card, headset, PS3, wants to make a few videos, stuff like that. It's just awesome, you know. And I'm going to tell you guys now, I am 14. Um, any of you wondering my age, I'm 14 years old. I'm 15 in September. Um, I'm, I go to secondary school. In UK, it's called secondary school. I think in America, it's high school. I'm not sure. Something like that. I think it's high school. But yeah. So, I was just making videos and shit like that. Just for the fun, really. I didn't really expect... I, I didn't expect like this kind of... This feedback and all these positive comments. I mean, I haven't got any negative comments or anything. I've got likes and decent amount of views on quite a few of my videos. So, yeah, getting that out of the way. Thanks, you guys, so much. Um, yeah, just thanks for subscribing and everything. You guys are awesome. I love you all. So, yeah, thanks, guys. So, getting on with the video. Um, yeah, I'm starting Crash Bandicoot today. Um, mainly because it is one of my favorite games of all time i think it's one of the best playstation one games um when i got this on ps1 i just played it for hours on end it was like my most played game it was one of the first games i ever bought um i remember on the P playstation one uh and it's just a fucking awesome game i mean let me just check the sentence i don't know what i'm playing on i don't know what smoothing is I guess I'll put that on i don't know i just leave that on uh yeah so i guess let's get started so I've beat this game about, I don't know, like five times or something. It's just awesome. I love it. Such a great game. So let's get started on Sanity Beach. Um, I played all the Crash Bandicoot games. Um, they are all they were all awesome and up to Clash of the Titans. Um, I think that's... No, Crash of the Titans, sorry. See, I, I really don't even remember the title because the game sucked so bad. Uh... I remember I, I, I was an Xbox player back then. I didn't have Xbox Live or anything. I was just playing Xbox. I didn't have a PS3. Uh, and I remember it being announced. And I thought this game is going to be amazing. When was the last time a Crash game come out? Since Twin Sanity. And that's one of the best Crash games. Crash Insanity is fucking awesome. So I was like, yes. Uh, this game is going to be fucking amazing, you know. Because I'm like a hardcore Crash Bandicoot fan. I love the franchise. Um, but little did I know that Naughty Dog sold out. It before 2000, they sold out a long time ago to a different company. Uh, I can't remember the name. I will put it in description. Ah, uh, shit, what are they called? I can't remember. Some really shitty company. I don't know. And uh, they changed the way Crash looked. He looks. Uh, he just looks like shit. He looks more like a like a cute animal than like a crazy little fucker. Like in these games, just awesome. He looks like a cute little animal. Um, and the worst thing was they gave him a voice, and that just really pissed me off, because it just ruined Crash. He's got this tiny little high-pitched voice, and he squeals, and he shouts, and he's cute, and it's just, f just piss off, man. I'm gonna play Crash Bandicoot. Look at his, look at that face. He's fucking insane. He's crazy little motherfucker. He spins around, he jumps on boxes and shit. Simple. It's awesome. So, what, sorry, I'm getting, a bit, <laughs> I'm getting a bit, like a bit emotional here or whatever, but it did like just fail, and the game sucked so much ass. that was one of the worst games um i don't know what they were trying to do it was kind of like a combat kind of fuck knows what they were doing it was like kind of really like badly put together combat system with a few jumps you had like a double jump like and shit 
and all that kind of basic platform and stuff. The D, it was like un, unimaginative, just shit, really. The game just failed. And then they made another one, which was just as bad as the first one. Um, I haven't actually played the second one, but I played the first one, and it just it like disappointed me so much that I didn't want to play the second one. I just I was just so gutted because I didn't know that that Naughty Dog weren't working on this anymore. Um, but then Uncharted 1 and 2 came out and they were fucking awesome. But I still think that Naughty Dog should have kept Crash because another Crash game now would just be amazing. It would just be awesome. Just like this. This platforming amazingness. I mean, it's so simple. You don't do anything else like the entire game. You just jump around. You have a strict path. It's very linear. You can't go anywhere. You jump up boxes. Collect apples. When you get 100 apples, you get a life. Um, I can't remember his name. Aku Uka Uka is the good one. And Aku Aku is the... No, Aku Aku is the good one, which is the one I've got on my face now, and Uka Uka is the bad one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I could be wrong. They're, I know that that's their names, the evil one and the good one, I, I can't remember. Anyway, um, and yeah, and uh, it's just so, it's just simple. I mean, you just jump through rings, I mean, you die after you lose all your... Um, uh, Uka Uka Aku Aku things, I can't remember his name. Um, then the next hit you get, you'll lose a life. You can take three hits maximum when you've got full uh, mask thing. Uh, when you've got the full mask, you're invincible for a short amount of time. Just, it's simple. It's just basic platforming and little spin move. Not really combat, but just it's just awesome. It just worked for me. And I don't know, a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, I absolutely loved it, and I know a lot of my friends loved it. And it was just an amazing game. PS1. It just ruled, you know, it was such an awesome game. And yeah, the controls were easy to use, simple, and they, they got better and better throughout the, the, the years. The games just got better, and I didn't think they could get any better. Um, second one was pretty awesome, same same thing, but you unlock, there was a few more powers, and uh, graphics were a little bit improved. Cortex was in it, where there wasn't really a, I don't know what I did there. There wasn't really a proper boss in the first one, I mean... You start you you f the bosses throughout the first one. I think carried on through second one. Like the I can't remember through their names. Uh, like the uh, I can't remember his name. I don't know. I I don't know what I'm saying. I'll when we get into that part with the bosses and stuff, then I'll remember it. Because I haven't played this game in a while. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, I've completely just forgot what I was saying. Um, I just forgot what I was saying, completely. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, second one. That was it. The second one was awesome. Third one was. Uh, a lot of people thought think it's the best one out of the three on the PlayStation One. I personally think that this is the best one. I don't know. It's just down to your opinion. In my opinion. I think this is the best one. This is why I have it and not the other two. I just think it's, it's worth the money. It's just an awesome game. Uh, not saying that the second and third aren't, because they're all great games. You, go, you definitely try them if you haven't. If you haven't, shame on you, because they are awesome. Just go go buy them now, if you can get a hold of them anymore. I mean, the store have them. They're on the PlayStation Store, so you just get buying, you know, it's awesome. Um, so, yeah, first, second, third were great. And then uh, there was Crash on the PS2 and Xbox. Uh, do I try to get that? I will probably die. Uh, I think I can hit the box out. There we go. I lost a uh, life thing, but I got a, I got a life in. Oh shit. Okay, that was fail. Anyway, uh, then Crash: The Wrath of Cortex came out on the PS2 and the Xbox. I don't know the great. Uh, it was Crash Team Racing as well on PS1. Fucking awesome racing game. One of the best racing games on PlayStation One. I loved it. Uh, br great game. Uh, then Crash Rough Cortex came out on the PS2. Uh, I don't know why I'm failing so bad on the PS2, Xbox, and I think it came out on the GameCube. I'm not sure. I think it came out on the GameCube. And then Crash to Insanity came out uh, later on. Rough Cortex was not really that good. I mean, it was okay, but the Coco levels just failed when you played the sister. You just keep it to Crash. And they added a few extra gimmicks which weren't really, didn't really work that well because this is just the best bit about it, really. Uh, and it was. I got a cut here, guys. Uh, sorry about I'll uh, fin continue this conversation uh, to you guys next part uh, we'll be carrying on the levels uh, yeah thanks for watching guys thanks for 100 subscribers you're, you're all awesome I love you so much peace